This is Eric Mwadet, Mwadet.com with a quick educational video and we are looking at this March 31st, 2020 and we can see here that restoration hardware is down about 10% for the day and this was pretty much most of it was a gap down at the open and again as an educational video where does this resistance area in price come from because clearly we don't have the general guidance from let's say the 50-day moving average or the 200-day moving average right so we don't have a lot of guidance unless we can use other parameters so from my own understanding let me show you why i think this is an area of resistance and an area to watch for an eventual move above this resistance lines now we're going to use the rsi and if you've been watching my recent videos I did one on Boeing recently, but there is a simple line here connecting the previous lows. Let's do it this way. We can do it like that. All right. So just bear with me. Or we can even draw it from the lows here. We end up with the same resistance area. And what this gives us is it connects to the lows. Of the RSI and this low here we broke below that level and this is corresponding with this area here this gap down area and we can see overnight we are responding to that general area because now we are being rejected and we are moving lower so that's one line there's another line which actually is a line that is going to become relevant down the road at some point and this line is a simple line it is this breakout line here and trading instruments have a tremendous memory we can see this movement here began this tremendous move to the upside and what we've done is based on my uniformity method is we've come to this level a couple of times so I'm gonna take this line here and I'm gonna draw what I call a more the uniformity line and I'm just gonna do that you'll notice conveniently it bounces nicely on the line there for the lows here nice double bottom action on the RSI and the key is always the uniform action again all these are my own researched concepts and then what we're gonna do to make it relevant in the here and now we are gonna extend the same line I would be remiss if I forgot to mention here that this blue line happens to be around that 38.2 RSI level. Yes, these things have a tremendous influence on trading instruments, these levels. Now, if we take this blue line again, we can see support here, which is this lows. We would come and break below that line there which is now again corresponding with that gap down and here we are overnight showing resistance what i'm saying here is very simple is this is going to be a resistance area as far as the rsi is concerned until such a time down the road when we have this cleared to the upside it's only when that happens that the stock is going to have any type of a sustained move to the upside and as long as we are seeing resistance on the red and on the blue line, chances are very high that we come back and test recent daily closing or intraday lows or we actually even go on to record lower lows. As long as those two lines of resistance that are described here continue to be a problem for the stock. And you'll notice if you're watching the market from that same perspective, this is also true as far as the general market is concerned what bulls want to see is clearance above this line down the road at some point or as soon as possible and that would be giving the bulls reason to be expecting higher prices or even use that area that move above these two lines as a trigger for entry this is eric moather with moather.com as always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see.